What's up guys? It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video. If you don't know who I am, I am Mandy. I go by Mandy Nicole Fit on Instagram. And if you do know who I am and you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't already, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel below and ring that little bell so that you're notified when all my videos hit. So right now, I am on a current upload schedule of Wednesdays and Sundays, and I'll let you know if that changes in the future. So before we get into the topic for this video, I wanted to update you on a couple things. Number one was the upload schedule, which I just mentioned, Wednesdays and Sundays, but also I still have some tanks available, my Raise Your Bar tanks. This is what they look like. It's a nice Razorback, Razorback tank top. They run a little bit big, it says raise your bar, Mandy Nicole Fitness, with my logo, my barbell in the middle of the bar. It comes in this heather purple color and then also a light heathered gray as well. Um, I'm going to put a link to the apparel in the description box below, so if you're interested, I know everyone is trying to become the best version of themselves and one way to do that is to continue to raise your bar. And so that's a message that has always spoken to me and I wanted people to be able to represent that as well. So like I said, link down below if you are interested. All right, now for the topic of this video. So I wanted to talk about five tips or five things that will help ensure that you have a wonderful workout, whether you're working out at home, you're working out outside, or you're working out in the gym. These five things will help you to make sure that every workout is the best and that you're getting the most out of it that you possibly can. I had a really great leg day, a leg workout the other day with my friend and a gym partner, Kimmy. And so I'm going to be playing that footage in the background while we talk about the main topic. And so I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you in just a bit at the end of the video. Hey guys, welcome to the workout portion of this video. So I did a leg workout with my friend Kimmy, as I mentioned. It was a great workout, but I don't remember the sets and reps that I did. However, I think you can replicate it and it would be a great leg day workout with a big emphasis on the glutes and the hamstrings. So now to the tips to make sure you have a great workout. Working out with a friend is a great idea. Not only do they just sort of boost your energy and your motivation if you're doing some compound lifts or anything where you need help sort of setting up or spotting during your lifts, you have someone there with you so that you're able to do that. Another reason to bring a friend to the gym is to make sure that you show up to the gym, number one, because they will expect you, and number two, so that you're working hard throughout because you don't wanna let them down. Tip number two is to have a plan. If you already have a workout that you're following, then that's great. If you don't, when you show up to the gym, what I do is while I'm doing a warm up, like five to 10 minutes on the treadmill or Stairmaster, this is when I will plan out my workout. I included a general basic guideline for a good workout above. After warming up, maybe doing some dynamic stretching, you'll start with a compound lift. So on this day, leg day, my compound lifts were the squats. After that, you'll go into three to five exercises, depending on which body part it is, that are more specific to the body part. So since this leg day was more glute and hamstring focused, I picked exercises where I could feel my glutes and hamstrings working. They were done with more moderate, uh, more moderate weight and in a little bit higher rep ranges than my compound lifts. Then you can finish with a finisher, um, something that you'll do light, kind of like at your warm up, where you're just burning out the muscle group. Tip number three is to make sure that you fuel up. There's nothing worse than showing up to a workout feeling like poo poo because you haven't eaten, you haven't stayed hydrated, and you don't have enough caffeine to get through your workout. I am not saying that you have to take in 
a ton of caffeine in order to have a good workout. You don't. But you definitely do need to eat. Your body burns calories and it prefers it in the form of carbohydrates. So if possible, eat carbs before your workout. I also take in a pre-workout. Um, I have a couple of favorites and I bring some water and branch chain amino acids or BCAAs in my shaker cup to sip on in between sets. And sometimes I'll even bring some apple slices to eat mid-workout. These are called intra-workout carbs to make sure that the second half of my workout, I have enough energy as I did in my first. This next tip is something that I think is easier said than done, but with practice and over time, I've definitely gotten a lot better, better at it. You want to focus on the muscle you're training in each exercise. There's a couple things you can do to help this. Number one, you can do an activation warm-up. So during your warm-up, you're basically just trying to waken up that specific muscle group. It allows you to have a better mind-muscle connection. If you're doing an exercise for your hamstrings, you want to be able to envision and feel your hamstrings actually stretching and contracting. There are definitely exercises where I can feel certain body parts working more than others. Those are the exercises that I would prioritize and do more often. All right, and tip number five to have a great workout is to listen to music. So scientists have said that listening to music during your workout actually acts as a natural pain reliever and can increase your pace and intensity. Besides that, it's also fun to listen to. So I recommend choosing music that elicits emotion. I prefer the kind of happy high energy stuff. However, sometimes, especially when I've had a bad day, it actually helps me to listen to some hardcore music um, like rock or maybe some angry style of rap. Whatever you listen to, you definitely need a good pair of headphones and I would recommend also keeping a backup pair in your gym bag, just in case you forget yours or if your wireless ones don't have enough charge. You can always make your own playlist of music, but these days Spotify, Pandora, and Apple Music make it very easy for you to listen to other playlists. I wanted to make a playlist of my current favorite workout songs to share with all of you. It's on Spotify. It's called the Raise Your Bar Workout Vibes Playlist. You can either search for it, and I'm also going to put a link in the description box below of where you can find it. So, how would you rate that workout? Um, a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 hard? Yeah. 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 And 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 booty pump. Yes. Yes. We only did like seven sets of selfies. Only seven. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.